Hi, I'm April, and this is Community Top Questions Answered, where we'll answer some of the most commonly asked questions in community. In this video, I'll give a quick overview of how data is passed between objects. Appian applications are built by combining objects such as interfaces, expression rules, and process models. Interfaces and expression rules are made up of functions and components. Functions can be used for things like retrieving and manipulating data, while components can be used for things like allowing user input or displaying a value. Process models are made up of process nodes and smart services. Process nodes are things like user input tasks and gateways to control workflow, while smart services are business services like sending emails or writing to a database. Passing data between objects is critical to a properly functioning application. Rule inputs can be defined within interfaces and expression rules and allow passing data into and out of the object. Similar to how functions and components have defined parameters, rule inputs become the parameters for expressions and interfaces. When calling an object in expression mode, you can even see the rule inputs and their types in the help text. Rule input values can be retrieved using ribang followed by the name of the rule input. If data is only needed within the context of a particular interface or expression, local variables can be defined and used. Some examples could be reusing a calculated value like query results, or storing a user input that doesn't need to be used elsewhere, like a search term. Rule inputs and local variables can be passed between parent and child interfaces and expressions, but rule inputs are the only way to pass data to and from process models. Process variables are the process model counterparts to rule inputs, which allow passing data into, through, and out of a process model. In a process model, process variables are defined so that data can be transferred between nodes. A process variable can be defined as a process parameter to allow passing a value when starting a process. For example, values from a start form or a parent process. Within a process model, process nodes have inputs and outputs, sometimes called activity class parameters, that are available for use within that specific node. Activity class parameters are like local variables for process nodes. To use these values elsewhere in the process, they must be saved to a process variable. Within a user input task, node inputs must be mapped to the interface's rule inputs. Luckily, when selecting an interface for the task, Appian can automatically create node inputs to match your interface's rule inputs. The Forms tab will show you the rule inputs from the interface and their mappings to a node input of the same type. There should be a mapping for each rule input. As an example, imagine a process used to order a pizza. Let's think about the screen to select which toppings should go on the pizza. There's an interface used to select the toppings. Within that interface, there's a rule input to save the order information, including selected toppings and total price, so that it can be passed back to the process model. We can define a local variable within our interface to query our database for the reference table that contains toppings and their prices. A local variable works well here because we don't need to pass all of the toppings back to the process model. As the user is making selections, their selections are saved to our order rule input. The customer wants to be able to see the price change as they are making selections. So we have an expression rule that will calculate the total price. This expression rule has inputs for the order and toppings information. The interface's rule input for order will be passed as well as the local variable for toppings. The expression rule will update the price of the order as needed based on this order's selection and the reference data's prices. Once the user submits the form, order will be passed back to the user input task and saved to the order process variable. Then the process can continue on and save the order information to the database. So as a recap, local variables and activity class parameters have a smaller scope and are used within the context of an expression or a process node. Rule inputs and process variables have a larger scope and can be passed between objects and process nodes. Thanks for watching. Now that you know more about how data is passed between objects, 
Try it out for yourself using your own Appian Community Edition environment. Visit community.appian.com to learn more. I'll see you next time.